Hey everyone, welcome back on the channel. Welcome back to another FSR 3.1 video. We are back with the port of RDR1, Red Dead Redemption 1. This game was uh, released 14 years ago on PS3 and Xbox 360 in 2010. And Rockstar have ported this game 14 years later in PC. So yeah, they are a bit late but uh, finally we are here. So anyway, this game does have DLSS frame generation inbuilt. Like uh, if I go to the option and graphic setting and I scroll down here, right? My scroll bar is not working, so I need to scroll with the mouse wheel. Anyway, so here you can see uh, I'm using DLSS, and you can see that frame generation option is right now uh, untickable or unusable because I have not installed the mod, and I'm using it on 1080p high setting you can check out these details uh, every setting is set on high or ultra and i'm getting around only 50 to 60 fps also the gpu usage is kind of stuck at 60 60 70 percent i don't know that might be some bug or uh, my pc issue i don't know but the mod will fix that so yeah let's start this mod video without any delay now Alright, uh, we will be using the DLSS enabler stable version 3.02. Uh, also, there is some additional step which are needed uh, to make the frame generation work. So, try not to skip when I get back into the game and show you which options are needed to make the mod work. So, we are going to extract this zip here. We will have this DLSS enabler 3.02. Open it then we click accept click next next then we go to the installation directory of rdr1 for me which is uh, here red dead redemption uh, and where these shortcuts are rdr.exes are located we're going to click on this file path and right click and copy this whole path of this location then come to the dlss enabler delete the path and paste it here after pasting we click next now in here uh, you will need to select uh, enable support for amd and intel gpu if you have amd and intel gpu if you don't have like my ml like me uh, if you have nvidia gpu you will need to uncheck this and if you fail to see the frame generation in game try these different versions also like the winamp dll the asi plugin the dxgi but i think version dll should be working with uh, most of the gpus but yeah if it doesn't then try these versions also and after that we will take this install reg files because these res files are needed to disable the signature checks so after that we click on next then we click next install then the installation will complete now click on finish and uh, go to the installation directory again uh, and there we will see this disable signature check so we will need to double click on it and click on yes now i'm gonna dive back into the game and show you what settings are need to be tweaked in order to turn on the frame generation so yeah let's dive into the game now grab netflix 4k starting at 250 rupees indian grab google storage one and ai editor starting at just 99 rupees per month all right uh, we are back inside the game now uh, now here comes the tricky part like uh, if you go to the setting after installing the mod and then go to graphics if you scroll down here uh, you will see that you won't be able to use the frame generation now like it's still lockout so the developers just did some weird thing which is, i will show you in a second that to turn on the frame generation you will need to enable the uh, low latency reflex low latency but you cannot turn on the reflex low latency until you turn off the v-sync and triple sync so yeah it's like kind of a long path but uh, i don't know why developers did it uh, like in most of the games the low latency get turned on automatically when you turn on the frame generation but in this case we will need to turn off the v-sync and triple buffering first then click on apply changes and after that we need to scroll down and we need to turn on the reflex low latency in order to unlock the frame generation so yeah it's a bit of a, a long way but uh, it's there so yeah i have turned on the frame generation uh, i'm gonna set the dlss on quality for now and i will show you one more issue so let's get back into the game and there we go now the ps has boosted from 
uh, there is uh, still some issue remains which is uh, the texture like the character texture is a little bit blurry so you need to turn on the motion blur also uh, you can see one more thing i want to show you which is the gpu usage is still around only uh, 80 84 like it's not going above 90 so yeah i will also fix that so we need to go to graphics again then scroll down here let me turn off the soft shadows of the thing all right so in dlss uh, i will turn this on dla which will force the native resolution and i will turn on the motion blur off then click on apply then come back to the game and now you can see it's uh the fps is also improved like uh, it was only around uh, 120 and 30 but now it's uh, locked to 140 like if i unlock it i think it would go more higher weight or maybe not i will unlock it though yeah it's not going really much higher 146 147 48 yeah but all right anyway so this will be it for this video i hope this helps you if it helps you you can subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos like this if you are facing any kind of issue comment down below don't forget to join discord for uh, discussion of more upcoming mods and cheap games and everything and i'll see you guys in the next one until then cheers